This is a saw scale viper. For us, it's just an incredible snake because it's just so much huger than the one we have in South India. And it's very likely the venom has some differences. And this is the whole point of this exercise. We want to collect venom samples from this snake up here and compare it with the venom of the South Indian saw scale viper. Right now, the uh, only antivenom available for the bites of the saw scale viper here are made from venom from South India. And that seems to be where the problem is, because uh, sometimes they have to give huge quantities of that antivenom, and it's still not effective for it. So uh, there is definitely something going on, and we're going to try to get to the root of the matter by testing its venom. After a full day's snake hunting, the team have managed to collect a number of specimens. And there's the venom. In field conditions like this, we have to collect the venom on dry ice, basically. Otherwise, the venom will be spoiled almost instantly in this hot weather. What we're doing here is taking just a small sample of the snake for DNA, because uh, the taxonomy, or exactly which snake this is, is uh, under some question. Is it a true species by itself, or is it just a subspecies of the saw scale viper found around the rest of India? So this is a pretty important thing that we're trying to do here. Wow, I saw some venom spewing through the air that time. There it comes dripping down, a little bit like orange juice. The venom and data that Rom and Samir have collected from some of these giants, once analyzed, will prove vital in helping scientists produce far more effective saw-scaled viper antivenom.